So why do I use Linux or more specifically Arts Linux? Well, a lot of people would probably give their opinion about it's safer, it's open source, it's free. Like there are a lot of default replies to that question. My main reason for using Linux and specific, uh, specifically Arts Linux, it's kind of different from most people that op opinions I guess, or at least from most people who are very vocal about it, their opinions. But first, a little bit of history. How did I get into Linux in the first place? Because it was not as straightforward as just removing Windows from my system and just mainly using Linux. Till I was 18 years old, I never even heard of Linux. And when I was around 19 years old, I started following extra lessons um, to become a network uh, manager. But yeah, never got a job in that. But during those lessons, I actually learned about Linux. I had to use Linux and my first experience with Linux was terrible. I still don't really know if it was because of the teacher that I had at the time or just because I could not grasp my head of how to use Linux because those lessons were mainly focused on the uh, command line part. We saw a little bit of like desktop Linux, but not that much. And I did not really get like a nice experience or like memories from that moment. So yeah. <laughs> However, I run Linux nowadays. So how and when did I actually make the step? Well, 2016, I wanted to start traveling. Like my main channel, Voidance Life, was actually going to be a channel about me traveling the world. But yeah, during my first trip to Japan, I kind of met my now wife and yeah. So long story short, I never ended traveling the whole time. But because I wanted to travel full time, I thought from let's get myself a laptop. I did not have that much money at the time and I needed to like have enough budget to actually do the traveling part. So I bought myself the cheapest laptop I could find so I would still be able to edit features and such. However, that experience was terrible. That <laughs> Don't do that. Like it's a waste of money buying a cheap laptop and try to do video editing on them. But I was like, how can I make a laptop faster? And I saw a couple of articles about people talking about using Linux instead of Windows. And I was like, from, yeah, I, I have used Linux before, it was not great, but maybe it improved. And basically I said, bye bye Windows and hello Linux. And it was a little bit of like fiddling around how to do it. And by my plans eventually changed, I decided to buy myself a normal PC again, also not that powerful. But I was switching between Linux and Windows at the time because Linux for video editing, it's terrible. I, I know a lot of people will probably talk about the Olive video editor or Blender as a video editor or just try DaVinci Resolve and transcode all your footage. But again, I did not have much money. I did not want to convert all my files. Blender is... I, I, I cannot get used to that for video editing. And yes, there is Caden Live, but... Yeah, there, there's a reason why I'm making my own video editor at this moment. But yeah, because of that, I was still switching between Windows and Linux. After I started um, more uh, like getting more used to Linux, I discovered i3, which is this vert, like Linux um, uh, window manager. I can basically do anything that I want, full screen. I can switch them around, and everything uses the keyboard, which I really like. I always hated the whole stacking of windows, hiding all the windows. Right now. I can have different desktops. I can do whatever I need to with my keyboard. I don't need to try to find the right window that I was working on. I know you have some amount of tiling functionality in Windows, but that was not as good as this. Like yeah, in Windows you can use a tiling, um, like kind of tiling, and then multiple desktops as well. But the other kind of downside about uh, Windows is that it takes a lot of resources and because I was getting used to using i3, at that time I was using Manjaro, I was like, okay, let's just go all in with Linux and just make video editing work. So my video editing solution for the first two, three years, uh, so around like end 2016 until like 2018, I mainly used online services for editing videos because Kaden Live was crashing a lot. Nowadays, it's working most of the time, but yeah, again, there's a reason why I'm making my own video editor. 
But yeah, that basically brings me to why am I using Linux right now? And I know this is kind of getting a long video, but yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like explaining a little bit of my history of how I got into Linux. Basically, I got into Linux because my laptop was bad, I did not have much money, and performance was an issue. But performance is not the reason why I went and like full time on Linux. No, because if performance was an issue, I would just get more expensive hardware right now and Windows would just be fine. The main reason why I'm using Linux is because it works. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. I'm certain that with enough headache, I would be able to get everything working in Windows as well. But I found that I did not need to. Like, yes, video editing is a problem, but all the other things that I like doing, like programming and such, and just using the internet, playing games, for me, it just works on Linux. I get the benefit that performance is better, um, less memory usage, no advertisements on my operating system, <laughs> which is something that I did not expect that I would have to say. Especially considering that Windows is not even free and you're getting advertisements. Well, for me, personally, I feel just use what you want. If you're comfortable using Windows, just keep using Windows. If you feel like trying out Linux, try out Linux. Is it not for you? Don't complain about it. Just move on and start using Windows again. I don't know what my hand was doing here, but... <laughs> uh, why specifically Art Linux? Well, I wanted to learn more about Linux because I was kind of confident that I would use it full time. So I just decided, okay, let's go for a hard uh, operating system, one that many people complain about from being difficult. And let's go for that. Um, I did not want to go for Gentoo because I don't want to compile all software every single time. But yeah, Arch Linux, it was very compact. I already used Manjaro, so I was like, okay, let's just go one branch higher to the main um, distro and just start using that. I have been having a lot of issues in the very beginning when I was using Arch. Nowadays, I rarely have issues and if issues arise, it's mainly because of an AUR package that, like an application that does not uh, work anymore to reinstall for updates and sets. But most of the time those are reasonably easy to fix. Really depends as well on like how good the community is supporting them and if the open source projects actually keep being alive. Because that's another big thing, that's kind of an issue I think. Support for open software open source software, yeah. Just count how many open source projects you use in your daily life, and then count to how many you actually donate, like financially support those people. But anyway, that's why I use Arts Linux. That, that's the only reason, it works. <laughs> that's it. I won't start saying that it, I find it more secure than Windows because I personally never really had issues with security on Windows. I had a couple of viruses, but that was basically because I was doing dumb, dumb things anyway. And performance, yes, performance is a big thing, but I'm certain that if you take your time to optimize Windows, like I took my time to optimize Linux, I guess I would have achieved something of like similar performance. With the benefit of being able to play more games. But yeah, being a stay at home dad and somebody who works on an open source project, don't really have that much time for playing games, so not really an issue for me. Anyway, if you have any other reasons of why you use a yeah, Linux or any distro of Linux, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye and I still don't know what my hand was doing here all the time. See you next time. And as always, a very big thank you to all my Kofi supporters. Without you, I would not have been able to work more comfortably on Kozen as I am doing right now. Kozen is getting close. Hold on tight, next video, an update, a big update.